Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to find sum of first n numbers now guys what is the meaning of the first n numbers so let's say if you want to find the sum of first five numbers so in that case our n value will be equal to 5 so in this example as you can see enter n value so user enters 5 as the value and the sum of first five numbers needs to be calculated so we can say sum of first n numbers over here it is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which is equal to 15 over here so guys this is the meaning of the finding the sum of first n numbers where n is the number that is provided by the user now guys when we are doing addition of all these numbers using any loops such as while loop or for loop it is little bit time consuming so there is a formula in order to find the sum of first n numbers and guys this formula is very important as far as interview questions or competitive programming is concerned so we are going to use this formula in order to find the sum of all the first n numbers and this formula is n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 so guys this is a very simple formula so let us move to eclipse id so guys over here first of all we will ask the user in order to provide the n value so we will have int n and then we will ask the user with a particular statement over here and we will say enter n value the user will enter the n value over here and then what we will do is we will use the buffered reader class in this case guys previously we had used the scanner class which is little bit slow compared to the buffered reader class so since we are talking about java programs that are fast in nature we have to use the classes which are faster so over here we will use the br as the object name followed by equal to new buffered reader so over here we have the buffered reader and then inside this we will have the new input stream reader over here so we have the new input stream reader and then inside this we will provide system dot in that's because we will take the input from the user on the console over here so guys what we will do is we will have br dot read line over here in this case now this read line method returns a string over here so if you do control space over here as you can see read line it returns a string so what we will have to do is we have to convert this string to an integer and store that value inside the n so what we will do over here is we will simply do integer dot percent over here so which will take an integer value so this integer value will come from the br dot read line method and then we will assign this integer value to n over here so as you can see this is the line of code the n value will be taken from br dot read line which returns a string value and this string value will be converted to integer by using the integer dot percent now guys there is a red underline over here it says unhandled exception type io exception so i'll just add the throws declaration over here so that throws number format exception is being added over here apart from that io exception class is also added over here now guys since we have the value of n we just need to provide our formula in order to find the sum of first n numbers so what we will do is we will have the variable int sum over here and then it is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 now guys n plus 1 should be inside the brackets that's because if we don't provide the brackets n multiplied by n will be calculated first which we don't want because n plus 1 needs to be found first and then that number needs to be multiplied by n and this entire number can be within the brackets over here and then after that we just divided by 2 over here and then we have the semicolon so guys this is the very simple formula over here n multiplied by n plus 1 which is n plus 1 is computed first and that number is being multiplied by n over here and then after that the entire number is being divided by 2 and this will give us the sum of first n numbers over here so simply what we have to do is we have to provide the print statement over here and i'll say sum of first n numbers is and then colon and then we simply have the sum variable over here so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see it is asking enter n value so user will provide the value as 5 over here so first 5 numbers will be added and the sum should be displayed over here so as you can see sum of first n numbers is 5 so let me just confirm this on the calculator as well we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 
and then equal to so 15 is the sum of all these numbers now guys let's say i want to find the sum of first 10 numbers so let me just run this code once again over here enter n value in this case the number should be 10 in this case let me confirm what will be the answer so over here first five numbers is 15 and then we have plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 and then equal to so as you can see 55 is the sum so over here i'll press enter so as you can see sum of first n numbers is 55 so guys in this way we can easily use this formula that is n multiplied by n plus 1 and then divided by 2 in order to find the sum of first n numbers guys it is very important to know this formula when you are going for java interviews or as a student as well when you are writing java programs apart from that it is also faster in order to find the sum of first n numbers when you are writing programs in competitive coding competitions so guys please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs of the n value you get the different output of the sum values so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to find prime numbers so stay tuned